art is something that uh, <laughs> it's a hard question I create um, motion picture artistry on a daily basis yes you are actually correct saying that uh, I put uh, some sort of story and idea in um, everything that I create I felt the anger and the protest uh, towards that poor management that um, made the surrounding around me. Everything changed when uh, I got to make a music video. Well, I did not provoke any emotions in any way, uh, because all of the elements, just as I said before, they were screaming in my face. Hi Theo, how are you doing? Thank you for coming to us today. Hi Vita, thank you for inviting. I uh, want to speak today about your uh, new exposition which has been opened in uh, Vitart Expo just recently and maybe behind that we will discuss a little bit what is art for people and uh, especially for you. Maybe we will also talk about different aspects of making art because I know your experience with art is very diverse. You work with different media. Well, I think that uh, for the other people, art is something that... Uh, <laughs> it's a hard question. Uh, okay. <laughs> So, for me, art is uh, the outlet of my uh, emotions and feelings. Um, it's some space that I can create for myself and to be free in that uh, metaphysical space. Uh, just using different items around me. Uh, you just said that uh, creating for yourself, but you are also doing art as a part of your work, as, as your job. Can you please um, then like tell for us the difference? What is for you art at, just for yourself at home? And uh, what is your art and making art as a job? Yeah, I just don't think that I really thought about all that before, before today, but yeah. Um, just as you mentioned, uh, I work uh, as a, some sort of artist. I work in visual effects and I create um, motion picture artistry on a daily basis. But something deep inside won't let me quit. I swear that I'm inspired by all this shit. Uh, so I was lucky to make art into a uh, career. But at the same time, I really love to uh, continue doing art in uh, some other forms when I come home and I uh, want to unwind a little, uh, just to relax. And then, um, and then I do something which is closely related to visual effects. So, for example, I may um, edit a video, I may create an animation in either 2D or 3D space, or uh, take up some brushes and paint something, cut it in pieces and make an optical collage, and maybe then after that use it in uh, other videos that I make. And this is actually the thing that uh, I like making most yeah i could argue because uh i know that you are doing a lot of just drawings uh photographs which are not motion art and uh, whatever you do you put a story in your creations you know like many artists who paints colors mixing everything and stop when they like the result, like enjoying, like this feels good. You 
it's to my opinion uh, put some story in every piece you create could you agree with that or do you have different uh, opinion about your own creations yes you are actually correct saying that uh, i put uh, some sort of story and idea in um, everything that i create but at the same time uh, it's not quite right that um, I am not only interested in uh, motion art because I also like to draw some stills or uh, design something uh, which w would also be like a, uh, like just a still picture because the end point uh, for all of that is to practice and to uh, possibly bring all of those elements into motion in the future or reuse them for creating uh, moving uh, moving pictures, moving artistry, call it as you like. I just really recently started uh, using real physical media like uh, paint and brushes uh, because I believed that there was no way for me to uh, put real physical pictures into motion. So for a very, very long time, I only practiced digital uh, imagery, like uh, creating something in Photoshop, in Adobe Illustrator, um, because I knew that if it's a digital picture, then I can manipulate different parts of it. I can't uh, input it into a video afterwards. I can reuse it easily. So for a long time, I believed that uh, these two dimensions, like the uh, digital one and the physical one, they were not interconnected in any way. But uh, everything changed when uh, I got to make a music video for one uh, indie rock band. And uh, I thought that, hey, what if we um, take some old magazines, cut out pieces, uh, out from the illustrations and uh, scan them and this way we would be able to bring them into digital and we would use these uh, sort of retro elements, retro illustrations and uh, old photographs uh, combined with the video footage and this way uh, we could actually as a team, combine these parts together. And it worked out, and it worked out really nicely, and I fell in love with the result. Let's jump back to, to you telling stories through your creations. And I want to uh, bring us back to that exhibition which was opened in the Vidar Gallery. And the exhibition is called uh, Rage, and it's a number of photographs uh, where a person is, maybe you will explain, is the person protesting something or um, maybe he's sick, angry, desperate, disappointed. Please uh -huh. okay, describe well, well, let what me... was that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let me now tell you what uh, what this work was in, in its essence. So, um, it was an assignment that I got at film school as a part of uh, the education process. Uh, we were giving uh, the assignment to pick out certain emotion and to make a series of pictures which would represent this emotion um, so yeah I wasn't really sure of uh, what I wanted to present just just like that out of the blue so I decided well pretty much 
just as I usually did, to go out to the street and to see what the environment around me could uh, propose. Um, and yeah, you should know that uh, originally I come from a country with poor governmental management and uh, there's lots of abandoned factories residential buildings which are in very poor condition. When you go out to the streets of Minsk, my hometown, you may pretty quickly get depressive feelings of the, uh, because of the abundance of uh, grey colors, um, broken pavements. So when I went out to the street and looked around uh, searching for the details items, environments that could help me express something. I felt mm, I felt the anger and the protest uh, towards that poor management that uh, made the surrounding around me, made my country, made my hometown look like a depressing, uh, depressing pit. At that point I decided that my emotion would be anger and uh, I just started walking along the streets and uh, once in a while I uh, took out my tripod, uh, set the camera on it and uh, picked out some um, uh, items uh, from the surrounding and. Uh, yeah, tried to use them to build up a scene, to build up an idea, a, a, some sort of a story. Uh, and it was somehow very natural and very easy to combine all of those elements into anger, into the protest. Um, yeah. So it comes that you were using as a material for your creations uh, the natural environment in the city just not like even thinking about it before just using what was around what you've seen just occasionally is it right absolutely i always used to uh, use the natural environment around me to express my feelings to uh, do some photography to uh, write this environment into the stories that I uh, wrote as a film director, as a scriptwriter, uh, while studying at film school, for example. Um, yeah, so the uh, natural world around me was always an inspiration for me, was always the medium that I also used uh, in uh, the creation process. Yeah, but at the same time, you used yourself. You are you were acting and as a director, as photographer, and as actor. Did you organize a scene also, at least a little bit, or you used exactly what you saw without any touch? It depends on certain photograph because I didn't uh, I didn't really have any rules of how. It should be approached. The photograph, the fall of the empire, for example, is uh, a purely untouched scene. I, uh, the only thing that I did is I just turned the camera at the proper angle to catch uh, light flickers on the edges of the uh, glass shards, and that was it. Um, on the other hand, the picture, which is called. A broken home. Um, it is pretty heavily modified by me, so I uh, came into a place where there was lots of trash, and also some flower. Uh, first uh, spring flowers were uh, blossoming, and I decided to rearrange all of that pile of trash in a different way, so that it would tell mm, a little bit clearer story but uh, if, if you ask me um, if you ask me about the reasons why I was uh, 
arranging the scenes, uh, taking the photographs and acting myself. Well, this part is actually pretty simple. Um, I am a sort of a lone wolf. Uh, that's just how I like to be. And uh, I could use uh, help of friend, but unfortunately, because of the poor uh, management of my country, uh, all of my friends, they uh, at one point or another just left the country for better opportunities somewhere else so i was just left there alone preparing myself to uh, leave for education in europe myself so yeah it's uh... are you saying that you've been doing this everything alone without any assistance just you you and again you yeah it was me myself and i i I uh, just took the camera, went out there and uh, interacted with the environment. Uh, what What is going first here? Uh, the story you wanted to deliver or uh, your own emotions you wanted to express or you created a composition and scenery to provoke some emotions or understand some emotions? No, I did not provoke any emotions in any way uh, because all of the elements, just as I said before, they were screaming in my face, anger, disappointment with just the way things were at that point. Um, so, yeah, I just went into a dialogue with uh, the elements around me it, it felt pretty much like speaking to them, actually, in a way. Yeah, and it, it, it seems to me now that it might be correct to say that you uh, retranslated uh, what the environment was saying to the world. You just retranslated to people's understanding. Well... Yes, but on the other hand, of course, there's always a grain of um, subjectivism when we speak about art. So um, I guess that these uh, elements, they don't provoke the same emotions in other, pe other people, like um, in certain other people, but maybe they do in the others. Maybe they do provoke similar, but... Uh, in a way differently colored emotions in other people. So yeah, of course there's always uh, some subjectivity, but it was just so easy for me to um, um, take this emotion from the environment as if it, 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 it was just essentially this emotion, this whole. Let me ask you this thing. Uh, you uh, graduated filmmaking and you've started every element in film production and um, this is one like core element of uh, any film is the conflict uh, they say that if there is no conflict if this is no suffering and no overcoming problems and troubles there is like no movie creators of the movie must always think about those those conflict and difficult things what do you choose for you to develop the conflict? Are you okay with that? Or you prefer to do some other kinds of arts, but films because like you like uh, things without the conflict? Um, so far, I've noticed that um, in every art form, there is some sort of opposition where, well, in, uh, in a good piece of art. Uh, so for example, uh, it might be a conflict of uh, different colors, an opposition of contrasts uh, and different symbols. So all of those uh, things, uh, conflicts and oppositions in different uh, expressive parts and different expressive mediums, they really create uh, emotions, feelings and uh, some sort of proto-stories, uh, so uh, 
I guess that it's really important for every uh, art piece to have this clash uh, of conflict, but at the same time, it can be presented in very different things. Yeah. What is next in your mind? Or maybe what are you doing right now as an art? Speaking about my future projects, well, mm, it's really hard to tell what is gonna be next because at the moment I'm not preparing for something specific, but I'm rather learning new approaches, new uh, media, how to express my ideas through different other concepts. Uh, so yeah, for example, I make different collages, I Mm. I design my own t-shirts. Mm. What else do I do? Um. Hmm. I try out different new uh, ideas in video editing um, and uh, visual effects and I'm planning to combine it's all into a baggage that I will carry to the future and will mm, use it for creating something. I'm gathering all this knowledge together um, to have it as a baggage in the future. I really hope that uh, the next project will be something like music video production with the abundance of creative space, but at the same time, you never know what this next project will be because so far in my life everything was coming as a surprise and that's also something that I really like about all this creative sphere so yeah let's see what it will be ciao